Oh, that's a good question. I think it's seen as a threat because um, they tend to gather a lot of uh, data about everyone. And what I've heard in an interesting um, event, someone said, at the moment, they collect data more than anybody else. So the NSA scandal was something like <laughs> against this uh, huge amount of data they are collecting about us all the time. And um, what is going on now is still we are feeling safe and it, it seems okay. But if there's a shift, for example, in, I don't know, their um, CEOs or in their uh, governance structure, or how do you call it, um, then uh, this might change, this feeling of being safe, and they might change to do something else with our data. On the other hand, I'm not sure if this is not already the case, because do we really know what's going, what's happening? I mean, I don't really know, and I kind of work in this field, so I think it's more about we don't know what's going on, it's about um, yeah, some like insecureness of uh, these really huge um, companies that collect all the data on the one hand, on the other hand, algorithms and so on. We live in a bubble, all this kind of, I don't know, I can just <laughs> throw some buzzwords here now, but it's kind of this, um, I think people fear something that they don't know and, and they don't know what's going to happen, they don't know what's going on right now, so it's a lot of insecurity. Second question was, what can we do about it, right? Well, I think there are probably many answers to this. Um, for us, from our side, for our foundation, the answer is um, educate people. So that's our um, aim, actually, to, to say, yeah, probably we, there can be some rules um, that will, I don't know, keep these companies uh, in line. But on the other hand, we need to make sure that the people know more about um, the internet, more, know more about algorithms and what's going on now at the moment with big data and also fake news and so on and so forth.